I like big butts and I cannot lie. And Wally is today's Brawl Star. Only shooting stars break the mold. Hello everybody and welcome to Brawl Stars, a daily series on my Twitch channel, which is also making its way to YouTube, where we make a new Brawl deck for a brand new commander each day. So today's deck is Wally. Watley is the booty enhancing planeswalker from War to Spark, originally from Ixland, so she hasn't been around for that long. And her theme here is, you kind of guessed from me talking about butts, it's things with high toughness. You, you guys like, you guys like things with high toughness? I like things with high toughness. So Watley the Sun's Heart is a three mana planeswalker, which is pretty cheap, but she does very little on her own. Each combat you control assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power when she's in play. Unlike High Alert or Arcade, she doesn't allow for defenders to attack, and her ability doesn't make that much sense when you think about Watley as a character, like the warrior, poet, dino taming kind of masterpiece that she is. She also has a life gain ability, which we have seen attached to her before. So everything in this deck has got some booty. It's got a higher toughness than power, and there are a combination of cards that are in here purely to have that good, good booty. Cards that are, you know, just good and green and white, questing based. Cards that do a little bit of both. Tristani, that's both a big butt creature and also just a really good card. And some cards that help supplement the booty in Hansen with a little bit of tower defense and rally to battle. There's very, very little removal in this deck. There's just Banishing Light, Conclave Tribunal. If you make the stack, you can definitely add more in, especially if you find if you're going up against people and you can't quite win. But this is an aggressive deck. It's looking to win quickly off of Watley. I mentioned before that she cannot make things with Defender able to attack. I still have one card with Defender in here, Crashing Drawbridge, just because it's good. It's good here. Also, I can still use it defensively. So let's go into the Brawl queue with But Why. I do wish she would allow for Defenders to attack, though. Give her just the full Arcades package. She doesn't need to draw a card. That That's overkill. My first opponent, and wow, game's getting a little choppy, probably because I've had it open for seven hours, is Montgomery Montgomery, who is running a Nissa deck. I'm gonna roll in here. I've got a turn one goose. That means it could mean a turn two Watley, but it's not going to mean a turn two Watley for me. I think it's gonna mean a turn two Nexus Warden. Whoa, they mulliganed! Into an Arboreal Grazer. Okay, that makes sense. That's a really good turn one play for a Nissa deck. Have a goose. Get loose with the goose. Hi, Arboreal Grazer. Oh, nice ramp you have there. Please cease. I do not enjoy watching you ramp. So Nis is going to land next turn. And I don't like that. And there's also nothing I can do about it. I could use up my goose mana here to get the warden so I can at least block Nissa's lands. But I'm going to use the Temple of Plenty, Lock Twain Gargoyle here. That's a forest, that's fine. Maybe I'll play Questing Beast next turn. And I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna sit back here and say, oh dear Nissa, please don't hurt my wee creatures. What with your big scary, big scary untapping forests. Don't do it. Don't do it, Nissa. She did it. I'm not blocking this. The land. I'm going to eat up my food from my goose and play one of the few cards in a deck that is completely unaffected by Watley and attack their face. They can block with the land, or they can let me deal four damage to Nessa. Yummy. 
Some cards, when you make their toughness equal to power, get so crazy powerful, though. Oketra is one of them because she goes from being a 3-6 double striker to a 6-6 double striker. That's a lot of damage. I'm not behind on mana in this match. I played a turn one Gilded Goose, just they also played a turn one Gilded Goose. They also just played a Meteor Golem. Yikes. No blocks. Please. Thank you. Only have three potential mana here. I could get down Nexus Wardens. I could get down Watley. I, th I don't think that she's very good here because she's not going to be able to attack. And she'd only really be making the Lock Twain Gargoyle into a better fighter. Here comes the Nexus Wardens. And for people who are keeping track. Yes, that was a turn three Nyssa. That was a turn one Grazer into a turn two Wolf Willow Haven and Goose. Turn three Nyssa. <laughs> turn four Meteor Golem. Maybe they'll run out of fuel. Maybe they won't get any uh, any good card draw or big damage or Hydras. I can help. I can help. Oh, and that's a Thorn Mammoth. I think I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. I will let this opponent, Monty Monty, finish off the match, though. Because you should only take a turn or two with the amount of damage that's being rolled out by Nyssa and her big spooky crew each turn. Her big foresty Q. At least these uh, Nyx forests, the, uh, the pretty glowy ones, people like to call them... Pokemon lands, because they look kind of like Pokemon cards. At least these bad boys do look great as creatures, because this, this looks like a big piece of broccoli is just coming to attack you. And if I have to die by the hands of broccoli, then I will have an Aketra. If you're wondering what sort of things can draw from green, I was thinking things like Great Henge. That's a really good one. Guardian Project, uh, Beast Whisper is also very good. Delicious Broccoli. Mmm. And a Woodland Mystic? That's a weird card to put in your deck. Did you put every single ramp card in your deck? Because to play a Woodland Mystic, that, that takes like a little... A little extra motivation to want to put that into your deck. And the motivation is I want to get out my Nyssa before turn four. Death, death, death. I'm dead now. Gee golly. Okay. So I have taken a huge amount of damage from these. And now I'm going to try to play against another opponent that's not going to get out of turn three Nyssa. Slow it. Ready? Fight! It's Amazonian versus Femelo. Watley, are you gonna carry me to victory against a Thassa Blinkity deck? Maybe not, but I do like having Loxwain Gargoyle and Leafkin Druid in hand. Nice things to get down on turn one and turn two. Ooh, somebody has the new Friday Night Magic Sleeves. Look at these. Looking good. While in the middle of a match, I also want to say thank you to Game Chops for providing the music for this video. You should check them out if you like video game covers. They make a lot of them. Hey, Wobbly. You want to make these into three threes? I wouldn't mind it if you did. Or maybe do I want to get the spider down? Nope, Watley time. What? What do you have? Do you have an unsummon? Opt. There are only so many things that you could do this turn. And I don't like any of them. Opt? Unsummon? What other, uh, Spectral Sailor. Spectral Sailor's also one in blue and at instant speed. 
That's a little 1-1 one -one flyer with Flash. Hey there! How you doing, Famello? You, uh, you like holding priority? Yeah? No? Oh, they're highlighting my creature. Highlighting my other creature. I think they're wondering why are they 3-3s? Three Buddy, it's Whatley! She's giving them booty enhancers. It's Stern Dismissal. That's kind of like an unsummon. Leaf Kindred's back in my hand. I really wish Watley also had an untap ability, like a minus one to untap a creature. She still wouldn't even be as good as Kiora, but I think it would be a very fitting ability. Right, so Thass is down, but with nothing to blink. I'm just gonna grab Spore Cap Spider because it's more damage than Leaf Kindred. And swing in again. Yeah, gaining life doesn't help protect Watley. Usually it doesn't gain you enough life to really make a difference. And as a minus three, it means that usually you're only gaining like a six total life. At which point you'd probably rather people just attack Watley and she'd just absorb that damage. Ooh! That was Sir Eleonora being blinked. Wow, that's a lot of cards in hand. Okay, is there anything I can really do about that? There is! I can. And exile her. I'm going to play Daxos here. And that is exactly how I wanted to tap. Thank you, game, for reading my mind. Exile Sir Eleonora. That's right, Thassa, I know that you just come back if I exiled you. That would probably take a turn. If I had also played Watley's Raptor Leafkin Druid that turn, I would have still been able to Conclave Tribunal, but I wouldn't have gotten five damage in. Okay, two cards have been drawn. There's three, two mana untapped. And here comes Fibblethip! Hi there, Fibblethip! Bubble Thup is a little 1-1 one -one who's going to be drawing them a card every turn. Thanks, Thassa. Fibbly, fibbly. I think I might have lethal. Is it time to line up for lethal with Rally to battle? See if they block. And how they block. Still doing it. Wait, let me see. So that's 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6 does not lethal make. So we're just going to load up lots of critters here. Off by 1. Wally now has 8. Uh... At six mana, the biggest, scariest thing they could have done that turn was probably play Agent of Treachery and then blink it. But they didn't. They would have had to play a land first, but they didn't do that. They anticipated and then they conceded the match because they knew they were about to get slammed by these booties. What a fine battle that was. So I'm going to go in one more time with But Why. But why? Why would you make this deck and why does it sometimes work? No, really, why does this deck sometimes work? It's crazy that it's... That it even does anything. I recommend this deck if you want kind of a silly, janky brawl deck that's definitely got a theme to it, the big butt, and doesn't cost a lot of rare wild cards. Uh, there's a ton of uncommons in this deck relative to other Brawl decks that you'll see me put together. All right, so I've got kind of an unfortunate hand here because I can only play Giant Killer. I'm gonna Mulligan. And I like this one more. I've got two white mana for the Bishop. Walt is Raptor, Questing Beast, Loctwain, Gargoyle. I've got a curve here. Keep it. 
I'm going to start with planes because bishop on two sounds better than raptor on two. Hello there, outside of life's bounty. Behold my bishop! And we are up against Kuneros. Kuneros I've seen a few times being played. Uh, I think that he's really being played as just a general creature-based Orzov commander. I still prefer Soren over Kuneros. All right, Hushbringer stopping enter to battlefield abilities. I don't actually have that many of those in this deck. And here comes Huatli. Going to swing in with a 3-4 and a 4-4. They're definitely able to hit her on the back swing. At Kuneros, you can also play as a big commander that you throw more and more things onto, protect with cards like Elside of Life's Bounty. Kind of like Feather, but in Orzov colors. Questing Beast in here. It does not quite have the booty. But it's got enough. Oh, also we won. Oh, that, that was too quick. That doesn't count as a third match. The Questing Beast is in here because it is good no matter what. And it's Planeswalker removal, which we don't really have in the deck. It's also a beast and it queests. Which is not a... Not the way you pronounce quest. <laughs> All right, so after Kuneros, oh, just as we talk about the Questing Beast, here it is. Uh, this is a really slow hand, nothing until turn three, though we do have a mirroring Questing Beast. I like this hand a lot more. It's got Dryad and an extra land, so I'll keep it. I know I can't play Bishop of Wings unless I uh, get the Dryad down first. That's fine with me. Hello there, Leafkin Druid. So that's setting up for turn three, Questing Beast. And my opinion of that is, oh no, and I can't do anything about that. So I may as well ramp. Please, Handy. Do not beast. Hey, that's not a questing beast, that's a fire mind vessel. It can add two mana of different colors. Okay, well no it can't, because you're a mono green deck. It's going to let you add mana of other colors though. Okay, a Ketra is able to trade with questing beast. I could destroy the fire mind vessel. I think a catcher is just going to be better here. And I don't even think I'd block with her. I think that I'm just going to have a catcher down, use her to generate the 4-4 zombies, which can trade with Questing Beast. I am also wondering why Firemind Vessel and Mono Green. As far as ramp goes, this is some of the least efficient ramp. I feel like Circuitous Root would even be better, because then you get extra lands on the battlefield. District Guide, not playing Questing Beast, still. What are you setting up for? Are you just looking for more, more ramp? Still got four mana available. Beanstalk Giant, okay, two mana left. They're ramping and I don't know what it's for. I feel like if they're going to be a ramp deck instead of just like a stompy deck, it might make more sense to run Nissa as a commander. No matter, I am going to... Ooh, Cavalier. Cavalier is great here, but I really want to go for just lots of little things for a Ketra. I'm gonna throw down you and you. And swing in with a Ketra. And the Dryad I'm not gonna bother swinging in with because it would just get blocked by the Leafkin Druid. Nice. So now I have a veritable army.
It is an army. But Ketra's 4-4 four, four tokens are pretty scary. Oh, I never noticed in the background of this, there's actually a Ketra and Bolas. Who made this? Mike Burek. Oh, what's going on here? Meteor Golem? Rude. Here I wanted a 6-6 six, six with double strike. Alright, you still got two mana. I'm gonna go for Watley here. Swing in with everybody. Okay. Bishop of Wings. Dryad being blocked. Your Golem blocking the Thrashing Brontodon. All three of those die. And now I have to decide if I want to undo some of their ramp or if I just want to go wide. And I think the answer there is I want to go wide. Uh, they're green, so they're not good at mass creature removal. That's not something that the deck's really able to do. And even with eight mana currently, they probably would have to unload like three different creatures to save themselves here. Nine mana now. Cavalier of Thorns, that's one big creature. They can get a second one down that I can see already. Also, hey, I found Nissa. She got built into the graveyard. I also have a better idea of what's in their deck now and also that they've conceded. So those were three kind of four. Good games with Watley. And now you've seen her. Watley, the sun's heart. And you got to hear me talk about butts a whole bunch. I hope you enjoyed the deck. And as always, if you want to watch these brawl stars get revealed and have their decks be built or tweaked, you can watch on twitch.tv slash Amazonian, where I'm live every day at 9am Eastern. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you keep swinging with your rear.